Ukrainian forces staged ambush on a Russian Kamaz convoys inside the international border in Russia's Kursk province, as the Kremlin declared a federal emergency and said it was transferring extra forces to try to snuff out a four-day incursion that has badly damaged its credibility. A video circulated by Russian military bloggers showed a destroyed convoy, with bodies just visible inside some trucks, on the E-38 East-West Highway at Oktyabrsko, a location far deeper inside Russia than any previously confirmed fighting since Ukraine's forces crossed the border. Commentators said the attack, reminiscent of Ukrainian attacks on Russian troops besieging Kiev in the first weeks of the war, demonstrated an effective hit-and-run strategy, but the incursion appeared likely to draw an escalating response from the Kremlin, and its overall outcome remains profoundly uncertain. Russian pro-war military bloggers are criticizing Russia's military leadership after this. Commenting on the incident, war bloggers said the convoy was allegedly destroyed by a US-made HIMARS rocket system and slammed its command for the incident. All of this is not just the result of the unyielding stupidity of the individual who organized the convoy movement near the border in the third year of the war and then had it remain stationary, but also the result of the overall chaotic situation of hastily pulling reserves to the breakthrough area, for which they were completely unprepared, the pro-war telegram channel Voyany Osvedomital wrote. Some military bloggers called for those responsible for the column movement to be severely punished. For organizing soldiers' movements in columns we need executions today, military blogger Roman Alakin wrote, referring to assault penal military units, which usually suffer high casualties. Those who gave the order to move in columns in the area of observation of copters and himars should also be sentenced according to the laws of wartime, today this is an assault penal squad, Alakin said. The Russian pro-war telegram channel Rybar, which has over 1.2 million subscribers, said that recent footage from the Kursk region shows that nearly three years of fighting still haven't taught some people anything, adding, however, that such decisions are far from the level of the general staff. By the third year of the war, even a monkey could have learned this, but not some staff general from the defense ministry who orders these deadly marches in the frontline zone, wrote the telegram channel Trinat City. The invasion of Ukraine into the territory of Russia may lead to a faster end to the military conflict. Andreas Umland, an analyst at the Swedish Institute of International Relations, wrote about it for foreign policy. According to him, the last four days drastically changed the Russian-Ukrainian war. The operation of the Ukrainian forces in the Kursk region quickly turned into the largest territorial advance since the successful counteroffensive in Kharkiv and Kherson in the fall of 2022. It is not yet clear whether the Russians were able to stop the advance of the BSU. After all, more and more footage of captured Russians and destroyed convoys of Russian vehicles are appearing online. In some places, the situation is very similar to the first chaotic days of the Great War. The operation demonstrates the ability of Ukraine to achieve surprise and use sudden breakthroughs, in which Russia has always failed since the beginning of the conflict, the analyst noted. In addition, this is the first case of the invasion of foreign troops into the PF since the Second World War. Consequently, Ukraine demonstrates to Russians that the war is returning to their territory. It seems that the West has approved the operation. The White House and the EU said that the decision to carry out the operation should be made by Ukraine itself. Earlier, the Allies declared that an attack on the Russian Federation could become a red line, the beginning of the Third World War and nuclear Armageddon. But the Ukrainians did it. Umlin noted that the effect and purpose of the Kursk operation may be to erase arguments about the red line. In addition, Umland said that the lightning breakthrough of Ukraine undermines the widespread idea that Putin holds all the cards in his hands and can dictate the terms of the ceasefire. Kiev makes it clear that obtaining levers of influence on the negotiations is one of the goals of the offensive. It is noted that the probable purpose of the operation is consistent with the recent statements of President Zelensky that Kiev is ready for negotiations. 
It seems that Kiev is preparing the basis for potential negotiations, striving to strengthen its position and publicly declaring its readiness.